Has anyone ever seen them play Rural Nation? No, I don't think so. Yeah, that's the spirit, guys. <laughs> I'm happy to submit to a Rural Nation. I was, I was pretty sure they didn't play it. I'm pretty sure they don't play Rural Nation. So yeah, again, this mind meld coming in kind of clutch. I think there's a couple of like things you need to learn about the deck before you get into it though, which is kind of like, well, first of all, it's a kind of like a combo deck, right? So you need to like feel comfortable not blocking. I think learning how to not block is really important with decks like these. And then uh, other than that, you have to learn how to like kind of level up Nami on curve. Yeah, thanks Hawk, I appreciate it. Um, none of these cards are super impactful, so I'm gonna get rid of them. It's an interesting concept, yeah, it's not one that is my own. There's been a few players in the Runeterra that have been playing similar kind of decks. There's also a version that does Bandal City instead. I think that looks pretty cool. Give me your mouse, Any Mulligan tips for that deck? You. Nami is super important, so like holding onto Nami or looking for Nami oftentimes is good. Um, keeping Zoe Yo, turn 1 is also good. If you have a gift giver, if you have a gift giver or an army in the opening hand, they tend to be okay keeps. An army here. My people are counting on but I wouldn't, I wouldn't keep multiple one drops. So like uh, having a gift giver and or Nami uh, and or Zoe, I would just keep the Zoe and get rid of the gift giver. Speak stars, speak I say. Is this going to be like a weird situation where I attack in with uh, Nami? Ingenuity, Lord Vega. Stretch my legs, number three. Is it how people think? I actually think the Nami keep is almost 100% incorrect. Really? I struggle to find games where without Nami I do anything. I get that you want to draw into her, but oftentimes I don't think you get punished for keeping her in your opening hand. Especially with the wanting to float mana to try and level her up. Could be matchup dependent too. I think keeping gifts makes sense. I oftentimes don't find myself keeping Sparklefly though. Not against solid decks at least. If I just don't block the center there, what happens? Rise with the surf. Let the tide carry you. Let's do this. A little bit punished for going for the Vile Feast there, so I can take my attacks here, which is pretty nice. May as well swing with Nami, he's probably going to use Darkness on it. Isn't quite flipping Viga though, which is way nice. What is the ring mate of this deck? I honestly don't know. I'd probably say it's closer around the, yeah, as Morp said, 50 to 55% range. It's definitely not a terrible deck for considering to pick up and giving a go. Yeah, it could depend who's playing depend who's playing it. 
All right, very slow. Hidden pathways for the opponent's end is probably going to be very good for us. Okay, this is a pretty important turn. There's a few ways we can play it. Um, I am lean lenient towards kind of going Nami and then just like going pretty hard on the open attack next turn. I could probably do similar things with Fleet Admiral. I think Fleet Admiral is probably fine. Yeah, no, the Rune Terror AR holding a 48% with Runeway with it could make sense. It hasn't been updated for quite some time. Uh, I know they posted like Rune Terror AR is lacking the API at the moment, so they're a couple of days behind. I'm doing this in case he's holding up mana for get excited. Ah, Pora Cannon. Be brave. Guess I could have played around Pora Cannon by open attacking. Not the cleanest play on my behalf. Open attack should always be correct in case of Pora Cannon. Let's just assume he played a turn one. No Draven on curve feels pretty good, man. The got me good. Wait, Gamba didn't go through. I'm unsure why that would happen. He should use the flame chompers to drag the gift giver so you I don't have to take this block. Gift? I think Protected. using the flame chompers there to try and push a bit more pressure is totally fine. Looks like he had the mystic. Mom, I brought you this night bloom. Come home with me. The party has arrived. I wonder if he goes after the sparkle fly or if he goes after the Zoe here. Looks like he goes after neither. Hopefully, no get excited. He'd be pretty ambitious to have held it back for this long. That's fine. Zoya was obviously the weakest. Very nice. I could have played around that a little bit. I bear a message from. Oh, hey, what's that? I think I'm actually going to play the Burble Fish at one mana here. As long as the body holds blood. Just want to hold on to my double gems. Not sure if that's correct or not. I do have mana for Mind Meld still, but don't think that's the card we'll be playing this turn. Let's boogie. Let me see.
I should have blocked the 3 1 2. That's a misplay. No biggie. New Mind Meld tech is going to be pretty spicy next turn. I have enough mana for Mind Meld plus Hush. It's very strong. We don't need to play Nami here. Mind Meld's more than enough. I don't mind this deck into Scion Draven at all. So even if he plays a Pora Cannon here, we can just Hush it immediately. Not that that would actually protect him. Very nice. Clean. You guys think I'll win this? Any believers? This is, is this, this is free free channel points if you say no. I'm throwing up a quick predict because why not? These jewels are more than mere trinkets. Maybe I put it on too quickly, not enough time. Suck. Suck. Yep. Big suck. 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 Okay. They say these were from the protector himself. I'm doing this to like be efficient with my mana. I have urgent news. You have to kind of like Get those attunes in when you can. Make way! I have urgent news. You don't understand. <laughs> Protect. I must reach the king. We must all do our duty. You've got a problem. I've got a price. Business as usual. The journey is difficult. These will protect you. Sapphire, gem of our divine patron. I will find Let's go, Nami. I will save my people. I don't know if like it's probably not worth actually using the by darkness. just to get the mana back. Like I decided to use the gem on the sparkle fly to try and get the attune back, but there's probably positions where that wouldn't make much sense. I don't expect I don't, ex I don't expect this Nami to stick though. It's kind of why I was trying to get that immediate value. Nami rip. What's behind this door, you think? Deadly traps, angry guardians, bunch of gold. We love it when they run. I 
have been sent by the king himself. Dog. Oh, he's gonna give me healing. That's really nice of him. Wrap him up tight. Very, very generous. Very generous, Pog. I don't see any issue with you using the Siva. I guess the barrier. But like, what if I had like a way to buff it? You spurn my gift. I forgot about the barrier from the honor board, not gonna lie. Blade, sand, and treasure. Couldn't ask for more. Yeah, barrier makes sense. I can either go for the Nami or for the Fleet Admiral. I think I'm gonna go for the Nami here. My quest is dangerous, but I, will I can just better one. use my mana. Yeah, I think I get I get more buffs this way. I probably get more damage off. Go for lethal. Uh, basically, sharp sight, single combat, or bust. Okay. Hopefully, he loses the Siva here. If he can somehow save the Siva as well, that's going to be pretty sad. Okay. Says challenger. If you hurt him, it's gonna go for that. We pretty much don't block. That's right. Run. No swing with a two-one. No bluffs. There's no. There's no. You can may as well swing with a treasure seeker. Soldiers, to me. Let's bluff the shape stone. I'm never blocking it anyway because of the bluff. Pale's a really nice draw since we're always developing. We hold the pale back in case of sharp sight. I thought about pre-committing it to see what I draw, but this helps me to play around concerted. Now we can draw. Calamitas. Shelly's so cute, holy, yes. Yes, sir. And there we go. We uh, managed to take down the Akshan Siva. So yeah, I'll keep gifts in Zoe. The Gamba is kind of inspiring me to inspiring me to make sure I play my best game. Reality is just your mind crumbling under what it doesn't understand, silly. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't. I guess it gets one stack on it. I can't do much about that. So we'll pass. My mind is a wonder. Yes, yes. These jewels are more than mere trinkets. Okay, we have some pretty decent cards. Sapphire, gem of our divine patron. Gift. 
throw darkness. Is my Zeph comrade? Portal me something cool. Yeah, the catalyzers, the catalyzers scare me as well, buddy. I think I have to sacrifice an army to the darkness. the darkness. And like, he has a decision to make here, and that's whether or not he decides to immediately darkness, or try and like, outplay with a few cards. It's gonna cost him three mana, leaving him with four. I could definitely work around that. Every day I play expansion, I know just one thing for sure. What might that one thing be, buddy? Yeah, it's not easy. He's obviously thinking about it, which is good. I know their fear. I felt it too. Let us take a peek at life beneath the waves. These gems grant a wearer harmony. Really? Should have gemmed the gift giver. Hey, you brought back my favorite star. I didn't realize that the gem was gonna fuck over the Zoe from getting the buff. Big misplay by me. Like I've, I, I swear I've been in similar situations before, and I've used the gem just like that. It could be like it. It works with um the burst speed spells. Maybe focus speed has something to do with it. Yo, what's up, Slyper? Like, how are you, man? It could be a focus speed issue. <laughs> that could make sense. Maybe I'm thinking about the difference between Fleet Admiral and stuff. Um, both attacks are really good. This is not the way. You spurn my I actually want to kill my units off, so this is fine. I maybe should have put the 3-3 three, three into this one, but that's all good. Come in, double wages. We cover Moonstone. For the wicked, for the dead, I bring rest. Turn it against them. Ow, ow, ow. I purposely hush the center. In case of like, oh, I don't know, man. Like, it wouldn't have really mattered too much. Maybe the uh, hush might have been a bit suspect. He might have had double center though or something. I was just thinking that I could flip Zoe if I hush center on the open. 
Wait. Oh yeah, I'm phasing. Life still, nice. Fashion forward. I totally forgot I was getting life still there. How you been, Hope all as well? Yeah, man, I've been good. I've been uh, having a bit of a slow start to the Runeterra expansion. Not really finding my footing. But um, other than that, I'm all right. A little bit stressed out about it, but today has been pretty successful for, so far. I feel the momentum coming back to me a little bit. So he can swing at me with Senna, right? I could potentially offer a trade. What wondrous discoveries await below? Wait, what if I hush it now? I mean, what if I just don't actually and just hush it next turn? What once was two now is one. Yeah, save it for next turn, right? You're gonna attack with Senna because I can actually just kill it if he attacks, right? So we don't actually need to hush the. I just realized we don't need to hush the Senna because, like, we're hushing it to deny the darkness. But he has to attack with it. And then we can just, like, kind of, like, block into it, right? It's, like, totally fine. Second time's worse. And do they play Ruination? I actually have a fucking idea. Has anyone ever seen them play Ruination? No, I don't think so. Yeah, that's the spirit, guys. <laughs> I'm happy to submit to a Ruination. I was, I was pretty sure they didn't play it. I'm pretty sure they don't play Ruination. So yeah, again, this mind meld coming in kind of clutch. If he has ruination, he has the wrong list. Yeah, I guess so. Nice, Nami Zoe, mind meld, very nice. 